guys and welcome to my YouTube channel. This week I'm doing another studio redo video as we have just moved house and I know that a lot of you are thinking about creating your own home studio so I wanted to share the process of how I'm going to set up my studio for you. Now if you haven't seen the last video I did on setting up my studio in my old house, the link is in the description for you to watch that video. So we're now standing in the biggest bedroom of the house and it's 4.2 meters squared. It's going to make a perfect studio for me. I've got these lovely big windows over here which are going to let in plenty of afternoon light which is perfect for natural light photos. Okay, so over here we have a massive built-in robe in this room, which is amazing. The first part of the built-in robe has shelves, which is gonna be great for storing all of my props and accessories. The other two sections of the robe are hanging spaces, but I plan in the future to put some shelves in there when I get some money to do so. And in the meantime, I'm gonna put my filing cabinet and also my dry cabinet where I store all my cameras. I'm gonna store both of them in there as well. Now I've made a plan, just like I did with the first video. Again, if you haven't seen it, the link is in the description uh, of how I actually wanna lay out this studio. So you can see that plan on your screens now. So I've also bought a new desk for this studio as well, and it's a corner desk. I'm going to place that desk on the wall, back wall over there, about halfway between the window and the wardrobe. Having it a little bit away from the window will allow me to put my camera and maybe a ring light between the desk and the window so that I can use that to make videos when I'm sitting at my desk. And then having the wardrobe behind me will create a really nice neutral background for those videos as well. Uh, I will also have the natural light coming from the, from the window for those videos as well. I have another table which I'm going to place between the desk and the wardrobe. This will act as extra desk space for cutting out prints, uh, charging batteries and I might also fit my printer on there as well. Well, the last piece of furniture I have is a, my studio table, which I use for taking all my photos of my products. What I'm going to do is I'm going to place that on the wall over here, so between the window and the door to the room. Um, this is going to be, again, nice and close to the window, so I get that natural light coming in so I can use it in my product shots, but also close enough to the door so that I can easily bring things in and out to photograph, adding extra things in, and it's going to give me plenty of space to have lights, my tripods, my boom pole, all my different accessories around the table so that I can take plenty of photos nice and quickly and easily. Okay, so that's the basic plan of how I'm going to set up this room. I'll be back in a couple of days once we've actually moved into this place to show you the process of actually setting it all up and putting it together. So yesterday we did the move. Uh, it was a long and tiring day, but we had some amazing friends that helped us and we managed to get most of the things moved. Most of the things from my studio are already in this room, um, but they're not organized. So that's what I'm going to be doing now. Now unfortunately the filing cabinet wouldn't fit in the wardrobe over here. So I've actually put it in the corner over there between the window and the desk, which I think is actually going to be a pretty good place for it. To get the desk into this room, um, we actually had to take it apart into three pieces so that we could get it through the doorway and down the hallway in our new house. Uh, so this morning we got up really early so that we could put the desk back together before my partner went to work. Now I really love this desk because it is nice and big, 
I love the corner shape of it. It's gonna give me plenty of space to work around, lay all my stuff out, um, and just have that extra bit of space in the desk, which you always need. Now we've put the desk in position already. So next to the filing cabinet and in front of the window, this will give me plenty of natural light coming in from the window and I can put my camera between the window and the desk so that if I'm doing any videos from my desk, I can have my camera there and have that natural light from the window coming in to light me up. Uh, and also, I'm gonna have a nice view out of the window when I have those curtains open. We also couldn't bring my nice big studio table into this room just because it was too big and it wasn't easy to break down. So what I've done is I've swapped a table with my partner. He's now got that nice big table and I've got these two round tables which are next to me over here. So I'm going to be using one of them as my studio table for the time being. And in the future, I do plan on getting a bigger studio table, preferably with wheels, so that I can move it around the studio, just depending on the different lighting and that I want and that kind of thing. So that's definitely something to get in the future. Now, the other round table is going to go over on the wall over that side next to my desk, just to give me a bit of extra desk space. So somewhere to put my printer um, and also my cutting mats and paper cutter for cutting up prints and things like that. I also have this small round table over here. I'm not sure where I'm going to put that yet. It might just end up in one of the corners for the time being, but it is a great thing to use as a small uh, studio table when I'm doing flat lays and things because it is lower as well. Everything else that you see is either going to go on my desk or in the desk drawers or in this really nice big wardrobe that we've got over here. So let's get started with organising. working and living in this new house. Um, so let's give you a little bit of a tour of this studio and how I have set it up. Okay, so let's start with the wardrobe. Um, now, I've managed to fit quite a lot of stuff into this wardrobe. I do still have some more things to go in here. And I wanna get some of those like little um, organizing type baskets to put some stuff in as well, just to keep it a bit tidier. Cause it is looking a little bit of a mess like this and I can see that it's gonna end up just getting really messy if I don't get some sort of organizing system going on in here. But up on, well the top shelf at the minute is empty because I actually can't reach that top shelf. Um, but up here we have just one of my, or a couple actually, of my uh, white polystyrene boxes which I actually just got for free from a restaurant that was throwing them out. Uh, I plan on turning these into some light boxes. They're also great to use as reflectors or backgrounds as well for any of my shooting. On the next shelf down here, I have a couple of uh, boxes from my laptop, uh, from my cameras, from my tripods, things I just like to keep hold of the boxes just in case anything goes wrong with them and I need to send them off to get repaired. It's always good to have the boxes that they came in originally to send them off again in. Uh, I have a few spare cables here as well. Now, I do actually 
have a load more cables uh, which are in the boxes in the other house so these cables will go into my cable box when I get it it's just a box full of cables that I like just to have everything in one place so if I need a certain type of cable uh, I don't have out I've got this box of cables ready to use to have a look through then I've also got a little tiny fish tank as well which I have used in the past essentially as a prop or for taking photos of things in water it's a really great tool for doing that the next shelf down is my prop shelf now on here i've got all sorts of different things from flowers i've got some halloween props um i've got a pile of cod and gloves i've got just some general accessories for having out whenever i'm taking photos of things um, stands flowers little bowls uh, fishing line all sorts of different things that i might need when i'm taking photos the next shelf down, I've got uh, loads of pile of cleaning cloths. I've got a big folder um, of basically coursework from a business course that I'm going through at the moment. I've got my old notebooks. I've got some, again, camera accessories, some art supplies, spare batteries, that kind of thing. The next shelf down has all of my backgrounds. So I've got different sheets, uh, different types of paper, boards, um, different roll-up backgrounds, all sorts of different backgrounds on that shelf and I've got more to add when the next boxes come as well. And then the next shelf down, I at the moment just have my reflectors, my light tent and a mirror sitting on that shelf. Um, and the bottom of the cupboard is empty at the moment. Okay, so in the middle cupboard, again up the top here, I have some more of these polystyrene boxes. Uh, it's also a great space for me to keep my tall things. So things like tripods, background stands, uh, my metal rulers as well. Uh, and then I've just got my empty boxes that I finished emptying. So they're just sitting in there for now. Okay, now this last cupboard here is pretty empty. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to put in there. I might actually end up getting some shelves and put them up in here as well. I think that will be useful. At the minute, it's just got my camera bags in it. That is it. So it's pretty empty. Okay, so now coming around the corner slightly to my desk area as such. Uh, the first thing we've got here is my dry cabinet, which I keep all my cameras in. And then I've just got all my, basically my charging station sitting on the top here. Uh, just an extension lead with some battery chargers basically um, and a spare battery that's waiting to be charged. Next to that we have my paper cutter. Uh, my mats for cutting will also go on this table once I actually get them. They are still at the other house. Um, and this is just, I've left this out just so that I know I need to buy more of this printer paper. Coming around actually onto my desk now, uh, I've got all my notebooks up against the wall there, my big screen in the corner, my laptop, um, and then my printer over on this side over here. So that's pretty much my desk. It's looking nice and tidy at the moment, but it's probably not going to stay that way. Okay, so now in this corner over here, we've got my filing cabinet. It is a little bit close to the curtains here. So I've got to be careful whenever I open this filing cabinet, but I don't go in and out of the filing cabinet very often. And I've got plenty of space here to walk down to it. I can put my camera here, when I want to do some filming from my desk um, and again have that really nice window light behind me. Uh, also just resting in the corner here are my mood boards. So I've got two of these mood boards here. Um, I'm actually going to put them up on the wall behind the desk once I get a chance to get some nails and stuff. Um, I will do that. I will put them up on the wall. Now over on this side of the room we have the round table that I'm using as a studio table for now. I chose
chose this one because it's slightly more stable than the other one and either of these are very sturdy tables which is why they're not ideal to use as a studio table uh, and then I've got just put both of my ring lights up one on either side of the table for now and that little brown table is just sitting in the corner um, that will be useful for just putting props on and things as I'm using them all right so that was the tour of my studio uh, I hope that you have enjoyed this video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to get more videos, more tips and tricks on how to set up your studio, how to do product photography, all of that kind of thing. Um, there will be lots more videos that are coming from this room soon. So thanks guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.